Finally, I would also like to mention that Cochrane has recently decided to fund some updates of Cinema's functionality, and we are now working on implementing those updates. Apart from the updates regarding reporting bias already mentioned by Virginia, the following are all will be implemented. We have already updated the rules in judging imprecision, heterogeneity, and incoherence, as our previous rules that considered the entire equivalent rates were in many cases too strict. As in the practical, we have improved, as said in the practical, we have improved the data input model and we have also migrated cinema to our institute server. We further plan to provide sensitivity analysis for within study bias, modules for presenting the results, and the possibility to generate a full PDF report for the entire process, including all graphs and tables and the final table and judgments. Now regarding the final judgment, users will be able to click on the domains to downgrade by one or two levels, and this judgment will be linked to the final confidence judgment. Other updates include adding question mark buttons throughout, the possibility to save projects, and technical testing that will check the entire functionality. Thank you for your attention, and we now welcome any questions. Hi, um, are there any questions from anyone? Um, please feel free to type it in the chat the question box in the control panel. Um, we have one question. Um, is this tool suitable for component network meta-analyses? And if not, will it be in the future? Uh, no, for the moment being, it's not uh, suitable for component level network meta-analysis because as you, well, the person who is asking the question probably has run a network uh, meta-analysis for the components of interventions before, and there are some additional assumptions in uh, that technique, like whether the effect of the components is additive or multiplicative, and these things have not been uh, taken into account for uh, in, in, in the current version of cinema. And there are no immediate plans, I have to say, to address the component level network meta-analysis. Also because it's not a very widespread technique, hasn't been used a lot. There are some component level network meta-analysis published, but it's not so popular yet. Is it possible to do a Bayesian network meta-analysis with cinema? No. I'm afraid. Um, behind Cinema, it's the Net Meta R package that is running. Uh, just to note that people don't need to have R installed on their computer to run Cinema. The R package is run on the server, um, but it's using this uh, frequency-based software for the moment. We are exploring ways where actually a network meta-analysis can be done in a Bayesian framework using software like uh, MTC or um, um, Judge or Winbox, and then the results could be imported in cinema and then may make the, the evaluation. But we need to stress also that cinema is not a tool to undertake network meta-analysis. It is a tool to evaluate the results from network meta-analysis once the final results have been locked and are to be presented. Do you have to pay to use cinema? No, no, it is for free. It has been sponsored by uh, the University of Bern, partly by Cochrane on the methodological part and but from the Canva collaboration and it is for free. Does Cinema also assess confidence in network meta-analysis treatment rankings? Not yet. That is the topic of uh, Virginia's PhD and sees what we are working on it. What if the statistical package used uh, 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 originally gives results somewhere different from Cinema? Well, it depends on uh, how much different. If it is um, a frequency software, like if uh, Stata has been used to run network meta-analysis, the results should be close, maybe not identical to NetMeta, but very, very close. And 
it, it wouldn't matter. So the contribution matrix for within study bias or the confidence interval should be close enough to allow a, a, a sensible use of cinema, even if your analysis has been done with Stata. Now, if it is about uh, Bayesian uh, software, then my previous answer applies. Um, can we draw Sucre or, or ranking curves with cinema? Again, that uh, falls into the previous question's realm, whether cinema is for ranking. Uh, we've been, we are working on, on that, but not yet. It's, it's not uh, deliverable yet. How does one report footnotes in cinema? Footnotes. Um, I'm not sure what does this mean. I think that would be when it went over to um, to include in the summary findings table, wouldn't it? Um, just to report any sort of notes um, okay. to include. I guess the, the easiest way is, as um, Andrea and me showed before, this um, this table. You can download it and export it, and then in like a, and then you can edit it in uh, in Excel, for example, and add footnotes as you like, or even comments, change the colors, do whatever you like. It's an editable uh, table. Um, regarding incoherence, you mentioned that if direct and indirect evidence are on the same side of the plot, there is no concern. However, if direct and indirect evidence rendered a big difference in size of effect, your clinical decision could change to a great extent? Yeah, yeah, of course. And uh, that's why we don't monitor uh, the same sides of the plot with respect to the no effect line, but we consider the values, many values around the no effect line, the uh, margin of equivalence, so, when this question states that the clinical decision could change, that means that one confidence interval crosses the margin of equivalence and the other does not, because this is what, this is what different decisions mean. Um, of course, if there is huge difference in the, in the effect sizes, even if they are, none of them is crossing the line of uh, no effect, then one might want to take this into, into account, probably. And this is why I said in the beginning, these rules that we presented, they are not set on stone. Uh, the users, they are invited to apply their uh, interpretation and their uh, um, clinical um, experience and interpret the findings also in a more sensible way than just blindly apply the rules we have implemented. Um, it's not exactly relevant for cinema, but someone's asked, is it possible to use a sort of software as Revman software to perform network meta-analysis? No, no, Revman currently, as far as I know, maybe you care, you know best, uh, but Revman doesn't support network meta-analysis. No, it doesn't, no. Yeah. Um, how, do, uh, how does cinema interact with Revman? Is there a recommended format for summary of findings tables that can be exported and uploaded into Revman? Well, you can uh, export this table, this final table, and uh, maybe add footnotes, as we said before, and upload it in Revman as a, uh, as a figure. And, and you can also add figures, supporting figures like this one to to justify your judgment about the within study biases and things like that. Are there already published papers using cinema? <laughs> now we are um, we are still under second revision with the main methodological paper for cinema, but for the time being, hmm, uh, there are two things that people could uh, cite. Here in the documentation, you can um, find a paper here. I don't know, can people see my screen? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, so in the documentation, uh, there is a, this paper that we have submitted and it's under review can be found here. Uh, we have also a detailed manual, which is 
submit and then again under revision in the Campbell Library and hopefully will be published soon. And uh, yeah, these two sources could be cited. But there are also some published papers that use like uh, applications of network meta-analysis that already have used cinema. Yeah, but there are some on the Cochrane Library. Yes. Um, is there a help file for using this? I think the manual is uh, what people could uh, could use. So it's downloadable there and uh, you can see a lot of uh, details here about how to, to go about with the software. But I think also the today's webinar um, uh, could be used also as a help file and uh, people can play with the software and learn more by using it. Yeah, so this webinar has been recorded. Um, sorry, I should have said at the beginning. Um, so this will be made available um, for you to re-listen to and, and watch uh, or to make others aware of. Um, I think, oh, then there's one more coming. Um, in a network meta-analysis that has many treatments, do you re recommend reporting all comparisons in a summary of findings table or a smaller set of comparisons? If a smaller set is reported, are there recommendations for how this set of comparisons will be selected? Yeah, well, good comment, Joe. Um, this is something that probably needs to be set in the protocol, and it's not something that we can recommend from the software side or from the methodological point of view, because people who are doing network meta-analysis um, usually are usually interested in a couple of comparisons not all of them for example when you have placebo probably people are not interested in the comparisons of active versus placebo but they are interested in active versus active or some really hot new drugs so we recommend that in the protocol for network meta-analysis the investigators state clearly which is the decision sets which is the set of drugs they are interested to make inference about, and what is the evidence set, which includes more drugs that maybe are included, like all drugs or placebo that are included only to provide indirect evidence and include more studies. So once the decision set, the drugs we are interested about, is established, then probably all comparisons uh, should be evaluated. The advantage with cinema is that this process is made quite easy. Uh, for example, in a paper published uh, one and a half year ago um, about uh, antidepressants, we were able to evaluate pretty easily uh, 21 drugs and all the comparisons between them. What are you hoping to do with cinema in the future? Well, to enrich it with the features that Andriani showed to you and also uh, make a version of cinema for ranking intervention, not only the relative treatment effects. Um, I think that's all of the questions. Um, someone asked, has asked if it's possible to work with you. <laughs> Well, in a way, we are working with all reviewers doing network meta-analysis, uh, Theodore, the, the programmer, and myself, and other members of the team. We are, uh, are receiving often quite a few emails about questions and how you do this and whether you will implement that. So, in a way, we are already working with the white, the white community of network meta-analysts.